Hey, my name is Jesus Castello, and in this video we're going to talk about HTTP. So what's HTTP? HTTP is the language of websites, of web servers and browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Safari. So what happens is that web browsers and web servers need some kind of language, some kind of protocol to communicate, to talk to one another. And HTTP is that protocol. So if you want to talk to a web server, in other words, if you want to connect to some web page or to some JSON API, and you want to request a response, you will need um, something that can talk this language, that can communicate in HTTP. So in Ruby, there are several gems and um, built-in libraries you can use, like net HTTP or HTTP, HTTP party, XCON. Um, there is another called Faraday, I believe. But the one I like to use because very simple to remember and use is called REST client. So to use REST client, you may need to install the gem, gem install REST client, and then require it into your Ruby program like this. And this will give you access to the REST client module. And you can make a request with the get method. So the only thing this method needs is the URL of the site or the API endpoint that you want to work with. So for example, if we want the HTML from a website, we will do this. So this gives us an object that we can ask for the response. So if I try to print this, you can see it's an object, a REST client response object, and it has a few methods that you can use to work with it. For example, the code method prints the response code. What's the response code? Well, all the HTTP responses. So when you get a response from the server, it gives you a response code. And the response code uh, represents the status of your request. So for example, 200 means success. It means that your request was successful, right? So you got what you asked for, in other words. So that's what the 200 means. Then there are other codes like the 404 is very famous, the 404 not found. That's when you request um, something that doesn't exist. Like if you do slash bacon, we get actually an exception because 404 not found, but it likes to raise an exception instead of making the code 404. But there is also like server error, which is 500 and other errors like that. Other codes. Okay, so how do we get the actual content of the page? Well, for that we need the body method. So we have body body, so maybe a data will be better for that. So we don't have body body data body. And as you can see, this is the actual HTML code for my site. And if this was like an API endpoint, then you will get some JSON string, which you need to parse. So if this was JSON and you want a Ruby hash, you will need to do like json.parse 
and then you will get a Ruby hash. What if you want to submit a form? For example, with post. Well, you can also do that. And for that, you need post. And as you can see, we need an additional argument, wrong number of arguments. And the argument we need is a hash. And the hash, we have the arguments. So if we imagine this a contact form, we will have like a contact email, right? It will look something like that. And then we could have like a message. So we can have this in another line just to make it easier to read. And we can have the message. Uh, it could be uh, your site is awesome. Awesome. And that will submit if I had like a contact form or something, which I don't because I prefer people to use email directly. And then this will submit the form by the post method. So that's how you do that. So that's the basics of working with HTTP using the REST client library in Ruby. I hope you found this. Oh, and I have a typo. It's your site, so it'll be your site. So I hope you found this video useful, interesting, and give me a like if you like this video so more people can see it and know you like it. Thanks for watching.